to discuss the latest developments in British politics, uh, we're joined by a Green Party candidate for Brent Central, Dr. Shahrar Ali. Um, Dr. Ali, if you, you can hear me, just let me just uh, rephrase that question. We're just talking about the timing of this being more surprising than anything else. Would you agree? It is quite an extraordinary time to be announcing a move for a secret ballot of the Labour Party. Um, consider firstly that we've just had the first Prime Minister's questions of the year and by all accounts Brown acquitted himself quite well and he would have left that meeting then to discover that he has two former cabinet ministers doing this behind his back. It's quite an extraordinary political situation. However, bear in mind that what people are really concerned about today in, in the wider country are bread and butter issues including climate change. We have an environmental minister who's just come back from Copenhagen with nothing to show for it. These are really serious urgent issues and we need to get away from this kind of personality driven politics which the Parliamentary Labour Party has been very responsible for actually peddling over the years. This isn't a Labour specific thing. The Conservatives um, know too well about infighting and, and, and the same kind of uh, problems uh, coming in uh, to the election that brought Tony Blair in for his first term. I mean, it's not nothing new for British um, politics. Uh, do you think, um, I mean, can the Conservatives' fate was sealed, of course, then before 1997, but do you think that there is any way that Brown could come out of this? Well, um, I accept that Brown, to some extent, isn't presentationally as good in the conventional sense as his predecessor, um, Blair. But I suspect he's been taking a leaf out of Mandelson's book. Uh, for example, he's been drawing attention more to the uh, foreign affairs policy of, of his government. And I think drawing attention away from these bread and butter issues which people are concerned about. When you actually look at... Um, the policies that this government has been instigating, for example, to prop up a totally flawed economic system. It's all tinkering around the edges in order to uh, sustain industries which are inherently unsustainable. We have car manufacturing plants which are going out of business and we shouldn't be trying to prop them up through the government's car scrappage scheme, for example. What we should be doing is investing in a massive program of energy renewables and uh, of energy efficiency in order that we can build upon the and harness the uh, resources of this country uh, in wind and wave and solar energy and this is what we need to do we need to reskill our workers for the 21st century because we're looking at um, temperature rises and carbon greenhouse gas emissions which are unprecedented this century. We're looking at population increase globally uh, between uh, from say five to, to nine billion by 2050. These are unprecedented challenges and the true leadership that we require in the UK is a, a grassroots empowering leadership where everybody is part of a contract with the government and they can feel a part of that. It isn't this pie in the sky, celebrity type, media driven political circus. We don't want any of that. We've got far too many bread and butter political issues of the day to be looking at urgently. Well again, this is the wrong way of looking at it. Politics, when worthy of the title, is, is a calling. It's not a career. And we have people, you know, like Mandelson, who have been signalling their intent in some, f in some distant future, for example. We have even David Miliband, who, if he was really interested in politics, I think he should be trying to get back his environment minister job, because I think he was actually rather good at it. He was talking about carbon quotas. That's a fairly radical policy. And, you know, the Greens, we want to be able to work with all political parties and find common ground on radical policies. And David Miliband was better than his, his brother is at the moment. So I think that we shouldn't be looking at just these top jobs. We should be looking at people who can do their best in particular areas. Um, so I, I don't doubt that this has damaged potentially the Labour Party. Um, how can it be good for two former cabinet ministers to be calling for um, a vote of confidence essentially in the Prime Minister just weeks or months ahead of a general election? It's actually, it doesn't ring true now for Hewitt and others to be sort of almost backtracking as if they got egg in their face to say that if you do support him, you'll be asking for the same thing. It's a nonsense. And we need to be getting away from this personality driven 
political craze and politics is a calling, it's not a career. Green Party candidate for Brent Central there, Dr Shahrar Ali.